Wait, what? Hey there hearts and rebels, it's Moscow bringing you another video and today we are going to be reacting to she and the Princesses of Power Season 3, Episode 1, Quick Time I believe it's called. Fascinating. I need to know what happened to Catra. I am worried for Catra and then bloody Shadow Weaver shows up at Adora and I've been thinking about nothing but this show so I need to watch it. Like I need to know, I just need to settle into season 3 to know what happens. And season 3 only has like 6 episodes or something so season 1 and 2 I've been told to think of the two of them as like one together season which makes sense. Before we get stuck in though you know the usual YouTube shite thumbs up video because it helps me out. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want to come along on this she journey with me. You can also get access to the full unedited uncut raw disasters because they are disasters of the reactions by clicking the link in the video description down below it will take you to my Patreon. But that is enough. I am excited to get stuck in. That's probably the, the quickest intro I've done in a while. So here it is and um, we're going to click play and get started. Let's go. Whew. Louder than usual. Yeah. Adora. Oh God, she is not doing okay. Shadow Weaver. Okay, so wait, is Adora gonna help her now? Oh no. She's Shadow Weaver, so, you know, magic. Why are we stopping here? This is where we're holding the prisoner. This is your prison? Well, technically, it's the spare room, but it is more than adequate as a holding cell. You, you know, need the cushions. <laughs> okay, but where were your guards during that giant war, right? You're, you're giving guards instructions, and it looks like the guards are everywhere, so where the fuck were they when all that shit went down in the last season? Or was it the season before? I can't remember. But last season, I think it was. Where were they, huh? Okay, so you don't have a prison. You have a spare room. Most of the cushions. Most this of the cushions. is the prison? Yes, it's the prison. Shadow mm. Weaver raised you. She knows how to get in your head. That's true. We can't risk her manipulating you. I that wanna know. Won't happen. Well Yes it will. Hmm. Let the obviously unqualified Bright Moon guards handle this. Hmm. You're gonna try to sneak in, aren't you? <laughs> they know you so well. No! <laughs> that was a really bad sneak tactic. She must have rolled really low. Oof. You're in the Bright Moon prison. No. This is a prison? Uh, Why does everyone keep. Of course, this is a prison! You must be Glimmer's mother. Yeah. I do not speak his name. I'm not the one who got him killed. Oh. <laughs> Tell us why you're here. I have vital information to defeat the horde. But she's only going to give it to Adora. I will only speak to Adora. Oh, yeah. So that coming. Saw that coming. Why? Why? <sighs> Obviously, like, so what is she loyal to then? Just herself? Her own power? Because she's gone from that side to this side and back again. There has to be a reason. Something to do with Adora, but I don't like it. Like, I've got a, a, a sense that maybe it's best to keep Adora away from her. But I'm not... Mm. I don't know. Okay, but we find out what happened to Catra. Okay, she's still alive at least. Thank goodness. She's now in Shadow Weaver's cell. Oh no. That's heartbreaking. Scorpia. Catra, I found you. Scorpia was quite the heist. Of course it was. Yeah. Now, come on, I'm busting you out. We don't have a lot of time before. Before what? Shadow Weaver was right. She's not right. Don't give up yet. I can save you. Aww. You really care, don't you? She 
watched us. Of course I care. You're Catra. You're our leader. You're... You're my friend. Aww. You're everything to me. Oh. <laughs> Catra. Caring about people is what. No, no, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know what you're. Stop it, Catra. I know exactly what you're doing because I've done it before myself. Ah, <sighs> you're going to be mean to push her away to try and protect her because you feel like you don't deserve her. Not just that you don't deserve her, but you don't want people around you because you're scared that they're going to hurt you. The same with everybody else around you has hurt you, like Adora and Shadow Weaver and everybody else that you try with. <sighs> this is going to be painful to watch, isn't it? I get it. I get it. I don't like that I get it, but I get it. And, oh, uh, here we go. Put me into this mess. Get out of here. Or they'll take you down with me. Mm. What? That would have been hard to do. That would have been very hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, you're not. Glimmer is asleep. <laughs> oh, we're trying to see who can stay awake the longest. I see. She's a soldier, though. So she's, yeah. Well done. I knew she would win that, that kind of competition. Glimmer's getting annoyed. Yeah, it's not happening. You would really need Glimmer's help to get him. I told you I just need to talk to her. I'm strong enough to face her now. Are you sure? I need to know if she's truly changed. If the woman who raised me still has some good deep down inside her. I don't know, I don't trust it. Deep, 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 deep. Like, like maybe in her life ponyl, there may be a speck. Tiny bit. We trust you, but we won't let you face her alone. Where does the so sword do you go? Do? Does it disintegrate into your back? Time, tell us what you know. Is it know like great, Sue? When you cast a truth spell, you should make sure you've drawn it correctly. So, who wants to see a magic trick? <laughs> wow. Oh, she is. Listen up, lady. After all your kidnapping and mind wiping, you do anything to hurt Adora. Glimmer, I've got this. <laughs> yeah, Glimmer. Be a friend. My Adora. You snuck into Bright Moon. You were. Special? What you always told me was that I didn't matter. I was special only as long as I obeyed you. Why are you here? <laughs> wow, what a <laughs> Glimmer. <laughs> you see that, that little smug, proud friend moment? She's just like, yes, yes, that's my friend. That's my friend, that's my gal. <laughs> Love it. <sighs> yeah, what is going on? She's like, what, what, what's happening to you? Yeah. It took all of my magical power to come to you. I am dying, Adora. You're lying. Dora, I don't think she is. Mm. For the honor of Greece! Oh, is she going to heal her? I don't know why you're here, but I won't let you suffer like this. I'm going to heal you, Shadow Weaver, and then you will answer our questions. Oh, I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Um, Adora, sweetie, maybe we let her die, okay? Maybe maybe we do it quickly, though, like dropping a, a, a book on a rat, you know? Like, just quick. Like, maybe just get your information and then just, like, put it out of her misery in a different way. You know, that's the, that's what I would do. Would I do that to the person who raised me? If they treated me like that, yeah. I have no loyalty for assholes. I don't care how mean you've been. I don't care how... I don't care... Yeah, I'm... A this is not a good idea. Adora, you don't know how to heal. I can figure it out. She'll die if I don't. You must trust me. Hmm. I wouldn't trust her. Fine. I wouldn't trust her. Turn, you trust me. Trust that I'm not stupid. Trust that I'll see right through your mind games. 
Yeah, no, see, no, I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't, personally. What's that saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is that it? What about fool me three, four, five, six, seven times? What does that then make you? Completely inept? Oh, God, okay. Obtuse? What's going on with Hordak? What's going on with Mr... I'm falling to bits over here. Hordak. Because that thing that he was trying to get on himself last time fell off. But that was... I thought it was because of the mechanical arm. But maybe there's something going on. Maybe there's something else going on with him. Hmm. Can trap that. From the northern race to our portal machine. But we're still missing something. It's some sort of first one's message. I don't know what these other words are, but this one's easy. It means portal. It could be the missing something. Oh, we're she's looking picking for. up the same. Where's Katra? We should send her out ASAP. Katra is no longer a concern of yours. She's being sent to be silent. I'm confused. As you can see, the overall productivity of the horde has increased by 400% since Katra has been your second in command. And look sure. at this chart. <laughs> The evidence shows that First One's tech has gotten us closer than ever to creating a working portal. Katra has been incredibly successful at getting new tech for us and this- Yes! Entrapta, thank you! I love how she just has no ability to read body language at all. Like, he's very clearly not interested at the moment. But I'm hoping that some of what she's saying is getting through to him. She's using statistics, which is- very entrapped but also very good in this type of situation like if anybody has to deal with any kind of like really high up directors of any companies i have been there you have to go to them with stats they need they need the information quick easy to digest and then monetary or statistical value they need to know exactly what they're gaining out of it we need Katra. Oh. it is meaningless i'm not going to squander troops on a lifeless wasteland <laughs> Yeah. You are a princess. So she did do a lot for you. Moonstone. Yours dwells there within your soul. With it, you channel. That's a runestone? Your frustration will cause the energy you produce to become destructive if you're not careful. That's there happened before. Be peace in your mind if you are to heal. Ooh. Come closer. She actually does seem to know what she's talking about, though. I <sighs> still don't know if I trust it, though. I don't trust it. Did I mention that I don't trust it? <laughs> don't do it! Yeah, glimmer, I'm with you. Okay, seems to be working. Okay, well, it's doing something. First time she's properly been able to heal somebody, then, right? Ooh. Does it work? She's She Ra, Mom. What do you expect me to do? I help you. <laughs> now you hold up yours. Why are you here? <laughs> you want the truth? I have nowhere left to go. Katra betrayed me, or that cast me aside. He intends to bring the rest of the Horde's armies through this portal. Okay, she's actually given them the information. Still don't trust her. I'm sorry, I don't. I just don't, okay? There's not been a whole lot there. I know she did just do something there worth, you know, steps in the right direction. But to, to un it just doesn't undo all the shit. That she's done before. It just doesn't. I don't know. I'm just nervous, okay? I'm nervous. And use them to conquer Ethereum. Makes you think he's getting close to finishing this portal machine now. Because he has them. something you didn't have before. A princess who knows how to combine First One's technology with the Horde's machine. Oh, gosh, Portals to other worlds? It's ridiculous. I know how this must sound. Mm. We on Etheria have no concept of a universe beyond our reach. And yet, 
the evidence stands before us. Ooh. Me? What I succeeded once before. Years ago, he opened a portal. It was only for a moment. Ooh! Wait! What? Wait, what? Adora? What? And in that, a child came through. That child was you, Adora. You were brought through a portal from another world. What? What? Hello. You're lying. We all know it. You lie about everything. I um. gain nothing from lying. Perhaps you would have preferred the comfort of lies. I think that's quite enough. No. Don't listen to her, Adora. She's got a point. Okay, so if Adora's from another world, does that mean that her family could still be alive? My brain just like world with information there. Is Mara her family? Is Mara and her somehow related then? Because we know that Mara, that portal before. The translation or the transmission had said something, Seren, Seren, something portal, Mara. Fuck, okay. My wee brain is pick up. about events in your own memory bank. I was a baby. Babies don't remember things. Interesting. I shall make a note of this. <laughs> where did I come from? Oh. Yeah, where did she come from? This is the portal that you came through, Adora. Okay, but where did it go? The horde stole you, turned you into a soldier for their war. But where did the portal come from? The first ones came from beyond the stars. They made the sword so that it would only respond to one of their own kind. Oh, so she's a first one. I'm a first one? You are upset. I do not understand. Did I have a family? Could I go back? A portal brought me here. Could a portal take me? Attempting to open one now would have devastating consequences. Mara! There's a lot of information happening here. Right, number one, I don't believe that about Mara. I just don't. There's something about Mara and the way that they're building her up. I just don't believe that she's bad. I believe that she's good. But maybe she did bad things for a good intention. You know what I mean? Would have dire cons Opening a portal would have dire consequences. That is foreshadowing. The Horde or Sunday is going to create a portal at some point. But they're also talking about that... That other portal that, Ma like, that Mara signed off on. Fuck, I don't know. I can't piece any of the puzzle pieces together, but I can. They're sitting there. And I can see them clear as day. I just don't know where they fit yet. She must have come from the same place I did. Yeah. Why did she do it? It is irrelevant. This is your home now. I as Shira, you aren't listening to yes. me. Yes. You are behaving erratically. To bear the power of Shira is an honor. Don't I get a say in what happens to me? We're chosen. Did you not choose? You Adora. were chosen. Fuck Adora. you. Yeah, it's the only thing about a computer. I don't understand. It is happening again. It is, it is happening again. So Mara... Mara came from the same place as Adora. Mara was a first one. Went through all the same stuff as Adora. Tried to make a portal back home and is that what caused the devastation? So this is like what we're seeing is a tiny bit of a repeat as to what happened with Mara maybe? Fuck me, this episode's heavy. I talk to Adora. I can't even imagine what she must be feeling. Oh, oh, Are you okay? No. Oh. I'm not sure yet, but I think I know what I have to do. You don't have to come with me. Of course Adora, yeah. Of course we're going with you. You think you can get us to stay behind if you try? <laughs> she loves them. Uh, 
lucky he's gonna he's gonna have changed his mind isn't he compromised ineffective and worthless no no I the rest of you take a lesson from this because you have no idea how to run this place all you know how to do is hide in your lap Maybe that's why you can't defeat a group of teenagers. <gasps> oh, Catra. <laughs> Save your little speech. There has been a change of plan. Mom is ballsy, Catra. Actually, balls are weak. They get tapped and you go down. So that is uterus. <laughs> Which gets pounded and keeps going. Fucking hell, man. That was really, really, really incredibly... Brave, stupid, I don't know, a combination? Hi, Catra! I saved your life! You're welcome! <laughs> I don't understand. And Trapta has interceded on your behalf. It's a total dead zone. Nothing survives out there. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Grand! Okay. Well, and Trapta, you did your best, sweetie. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. So obviously she's going to bump into Adora and everybody out there. Is she going to get a squad to go with her? I feel like Scorpia is going to want to go. <sighs> and is that when they all meet up and make good and, and, and Catra's like, Yo, Adora, I want to help. And then they all live happily ever after. Hey. Yeah? No. Somebody lied to me. When my brain starts turning over possibilities. And that's when a show's got me on its hook. I really enjoyed that episode. That was really good. I feel like the show's starting to come in its own now. I feel like that's it's starting to get really good. I'm excited to keep watching. I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, there's, oh gosh, I've got like, my brain needs to do the thinky think. Thinky do thinky things. But either way, I'm excited to continue. I know that it's just gonna get better and better and better. <sighs> okay, I need to find out about Mara. I need to find out about Adora. I didn't even think that the possibility of Adora coming from another place didn't even cross my fucking mind. That's the legend of it. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed the reaction. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and if you want access to the full 36 minute long version of this, it will be available on Patreon. You can get to there by clicking the link in the video description down below. We'll take you to it. It's only $8 a month, and it really helps me out because I'm now attempting to do this full time. Also, leave me some comments with your fake spoilers and headcanons and stuff because you all know I love reading those. I will catch you next time with another video, and until then, haste you back, guys.